Hi, welcome, Fushan, to Austin and the Indie Film Festival. Is this your first time in the city? My second, actually. I was here in 2016 with my first picture. Oh, perfect. That's right. So how are you liking the city this time? Any changes? Absolutely. This theater was called the Marquesa when I arrived oh. last. And now, it, now it's this wonderful new facility. Yeah, and I know. It still maintains the charm of the old, so that's nice. Absolutely, absolutely. So you are here for the film tonight, Goldfish, which we're so excited to see. Um, it's got multiple themes. Uh, we're talking about dementia, mental illness, um, obviously mother-daughter relationship. Yeah, uh, that <laughs> I think, and that's where I think, uh, you know, many, many, maybe many people like me who've grown up here we can understand the tension in that and the evolution and I think the love that also grows with it. And I think the third one around just um, understanding who you are and maybe when you have a duality of multiple identities and such. So um, I guess as you were directing the film, how did you sort of, to one, what inspired the story for you? And um, two, what was it like just kind of navigating all those themes together? I think um, recently the reason why this film is what it is is because people uh, are somewhat afraid of complexity and I think we tell one-line stories whether it's Marvel or don't we'll take away anything from those films they're fantastic but I think maybe there's a, a small appetite perhaps for films that are um, they don't end with computer graphics fighting each other. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, understood. A little messy. A little... Yeah. So I think that we're all complicated, messed up, and uh, I think that relates. It's the con it's a contrary position to what most people think independent cinema is. I think most people feel that independent films are uh, kind of an arrogant position. Well, we don't really, you know, it's this is a tiny film for a tiny audience. Well, actually, if it gets out enough, um, it is the contrary to that arrogant position. It is actually me, me or somebody else saying we are not far more similar than you think. I am not unique. These are the things that concern me. What do you feel about them? Yeah. That's really the motivation to make it. If that's yeah. if such a thing exists, that's a, that's the motivation to remain in independent cinema. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, this picture itself is about identity, d dementia, and diaspora. And I think identity is only truly examined when you look at it from far away. So I think people who are Indian are kind of more Indian when they're away from home. If that's something that you noticed as well, I don't know. I understand that signal as well. Yeah. I mean, so we set it in Britain so that, you know, diasporic audiences everywhere would kind of feel uh, that that was, a, that was a commonality. Absolutely. And identity, because I believe also uh, during dementia, your identity is not simply uh, ephemeral and disappearing. It lives with the people that you have connected with. It lives with the people you've collided with. Absolutely. And I just felt that would be an interesting way to approach this. Yeah. So uh, in terms of... So in, 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 in a way, your identity is held in trust by the people that you've met. That's very true. And that you trust. So that's, that's very true. That's the hope. Yeah, absolutely. As you've um, screened this film across the world, what has sort of the audience reception been across different communities um they've been incredibly kind and really really they, they really got to the root of it the questions we receive about the film are not about uh about the usual sort of how did you come by the story the story is universal it's going to be one of the greatest health crises in crises in 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 the world you know in a couple of years i think but it's also robs you of who you are and in some ways who you are and authenticity about that has become the key question across continents um, essentially it's a human story and I am hoping that all the humans watch it man absolutely well, we're excited to see it I would, be, I would love to speak further once people have seen it absolutely it's far more interesting then um, yeah and I believe there's a Q&A after so so I hear <laughs> more than wonderful to meet you yes,